So moving on to those working rules. So of course, we're gonna start with the entry and exit rules. These are the rules that appropriators from a resource are limited to local residents. Uh, then we have position rules. These are the rules that show how someone moves from being just a member of a group to a person who has a specialized task. So for example, to go a little bit deeper in that position rules idea, it's like when uh, we elect a president, that person goes from being an ordinary citizen to a person who leads the entire country for the next four years. Uh, then there's choice rules. So what understandings that the appropriators have that become mandatory, authorized, or forbidden from harvesting technologies. So that kind of goes back to the choices in gameplay and game theory that I mentioned earlier. Well, not game theory, gameplay. Uh, so back at the chess example, it shows like your decision making skills. Uh, the aggregation rules, these are rules that show an understanding of what exists concerning the rules affecting the choice of harvesting activities. Then we have those information rules, and what this is basically what information is being held secret and what information is public. There are those scope rules, and this is an understanding uh, that the appropriators and others have about authorized or forbidden geographical or functional domains. Kind of like um, Area 41, the alien area. And then there's also payoff rules. How large are sanctions that can be imposed for breaking any of the rules identified above? How is conformance to the rules monitored? Who is responsible for sanctioning nonconformers? So now we have rules in use and rules in form. Most use of IAD framework uses the rules in use method. So this is the prescription that uh, people follow in practice and they are often not written down. So it's those uh, embedded rules, you know, like the rules that we have in society where we're thinking, okay, so I can't say this, it's not appropriate in, a pub in public domain. And then moving on to rules and form, this is the idea that the rules are adopted through a collective choice of venues and are written down. And this is the study of policy, for example. Uh, grammar of institutions. So this is the metho methodological extension of rules and use and rules and form. This occurs with the development of the grammar of institution. And this is a theory that generates structural descriptions of institutional statements. This uh, description is in the book on page 229. And so we'll focus on uh, the next five ideas that go with uh, grammar of institutions. The first one is attribute. It ad identifies the doer of the action. And then there's, I'm gonna butcher this, deontic. It identifies whether the action is required, permitted, or forbidden. There is aim, it is the verb of an institutional statement. Condition, this defines the what, when, where, and how of the action or the outcome. And then the more ominous one of the lot, or else, which identifies the variety of questions that lay at the core of the political science sphere and may be systematically explored. So the attributes of the community. Uh, these. These are the rules and the norms of community. It can be written or unspoken, uh, what I discussed earlier. Uh, these are important features of a group that may have been examined for their effects on outcomes and action situations that have included various types of heterogeneity genetities, such as um, socio socioeconomic status, dependence on shared resources, group size, present of, presence of accountable leadership, and levels of social capital. Then we move on to linked action situations. These are action situations that are typically linked through outcomes of a situation directly affecting one or more components of another's action situation. 
The monitoring of an action situation is directly linked to information that the resource users possess. So this is like an example of getting into a car accident. Uh, one person who causes the car accident affects another person if they hit another car, and that causes more problems in the long run. Okay, uh, we're moving on to the three worlds of action. There are operation rules, collective choice rules, and constitutional rules. Uh, starting with a quote from Ost Ostrom on page 231, all rules are nested in an another set of rules that define how the first set of rules can be changed. Uh, there's, of course, operational rules, and the definition of that is that these are rules that appeal to the action of day-to-day -day activities. So simple things like going for a bike ride or getting up and getting ready for work. We have collective choice rules. These are rules that are guided and constrained by the collective levels of action and your choices. These are devised and adopted under operation level rules. So these are monitoring operation level actions. And then we have constitutional rules. These are the rules that are guided and constrained by the choice levels of action that are that were defined by the collective choice rules and are divided and adopted. Collective choice activities are monitored here. The application of IAD is used to study common pool resources and is applied to policy analysis. IAD is meticulously designed to study and analyze an existing case study with several large scale research projects. Projects. It is not widely recognized and used or used in social in many social sciences. And then we're going to move on. So starting with the IAD model. Eleanor Ostrom sought to understand the collective action possibility. This moves on to the institutional analysis model or the institutional analysis and development, what we're discussing today. And this is a model that is guided by the Homo economicus model. It is the debtor of the neoclassical economic theory and game theory. The action of groups should be analyzed from the perspective of the individual. And this is methodological individualism. Ostrom's adoption of neoclassical assumptions in her studies makes her aware that there are limits to rationality and she advocates for behavioral theories of individual actions to be taken into consideration. The, this focuses on the attention, the limited information, the cognitive, cognitive process, and the context.